Hey everyone, it's Tira with Rent Mason Bees. Today we are going to take a sneak peek inside your mason bee nesting block to see what your baby bees are up to right now. Where are they at? Are they the larva? Have they eaten all the pollen? Have they formed their silken cocoon? Uh, for the most part, your mason bees should be done flying. It's middle of July for us right now and the mason bees only live four to six weeks. So depending on when we got you your bees, they still may be flying. If they are, leave your block alone. If they if you don't see any more activity, then you'd want to store them safely in a garage or a shed with the holes upright. Do not ship them back to us yet. They need to form those cocoons before they're safe um, to ship back and they get really hardy. Uh, we'll let you know when that is. Um, if you haven't ordered leafcutter bees, please order leafcutter bees um, as soon as you can. It's time. We've got to put these guys out. Um, we just have a, a, a few hundred left. We only make 500 a year of these leafcutter bees and we um, a lot of our return hosts have already purchase their leaf cutters. So we don't have that many of these left. We send them like this in the block, all ready to go. They don't spin a silken cocoon for protection like the mason bees do. Um, fragile leaf sleeping bags is what they lay their babies in. So this is the safest way um, to get these guys transported to you. Some of mine have already emerged. So I'll put a link below um, to learn more about leaf cutter bees and how to order them and all of that. Um, hot states love, leaf cutter bees love the hot states. So if you live somewhere where you're 90 degrees, 100 degrees, your leaf cutter bees will thrive. So take a look at the link below if you want to get some of those. But back to our mason bees. Let's go take a look what's happening right now, mid-July, with our mason bee babies. All right, let's go. All right, are you guys ready to see what's going on inside your mason bee block? Um, we please ask that our hosts don't cut the straps um, because then you're not able to safely ship them back to us and they can definitely get damaged. They're super fragile. Um, but we did this for the purpose just to show all of our wonderful hosts what your baby bees are doing right now. All right, let's very carefully take a look. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at all the babies. Wow. All right, so these guys are in the larvae state. They're eating all the pollen that mom worked so hard to gather for her babies. Looks like some of them have devoured them. The little black speckles, I think is just their feces. Um, and it doesn't look like this one has any predators, so that's a really good sign. Oh, look at this cell. Let's count how many we see in this one. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight in that cell that I can't write. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine in there. Wow, this is amazing. All right, so this is what's happening right now. They are in their larvae state and then they are gonna build up enough endurance to then form their cocoon that they will then hibernate in all winter long. They're all wiggly. There's even some up here. All right, I'm gonna very carefully put this back and then leave them alone. There we go, that's what's happening. Okay, that was actually pretty amazing. That was my first time looking inside a mason bee nesting block as well. Um, so I'm really glad you were able to come on that journey with me for my excitement, <laughs> seeing all those little babies in there. Um, as you can tell, I just love our mason and our leaf cutter bees. I think it's so important to give back to our environment and help, help our solitary bee populations thrive. And we really value our hosts and all of you to help us um, increase their population and to protect them. Um, so please join our Facebook community page and our Facebook group um, and we'll have links down below for all of our other stuff but um, I'll do another video in a couple weeks we'll see where they're at at that point and again thanks for coming along on that journey that was really fun okay bye